Hello. Today I am doing the uh, Shelley Cashman Word 2019 Module 4, End of Module Project 1, Cadet Bank. So I've already downloaded my instructions and my um, other documents that I need from this from uh, Cengage. And so let's get started. First thing we have to do is change and save our file. So I'm going to come up here to the file and do a save as. I am going to go ahead and put this on my desktop. And I'm going to change this one to a two. Make sure that you see your name here in the document. Uh, I'm going to replace it. I've already done this once, so I'm just replacing that file. So up here in my file name, it says Linda Session underscore two. You need to make sure that it has your name listed in there. And also double check on your file and make sure it says specifically for you. Your name should be the one you see in here. So I've got that all saved properly. I downloaded the checkmark um, support file and I am ready to now start working on the project steps. So the first thing we need to do is expand the character spacing of the digital banking text by one point to make the title more distinctive. What it's talking about with the character spacing is uh, the spacing in between the letters or the kernel. Uh, so we're going to highlight this digital banking and up here in our font area, I'm going to click on this little dialog box launcher here in the corner. I'm going to go to the advanced. And right here is my character spacing. And I want to space it instead of by point, 0.5 point, I want it to be one point. And what that's going to do is you can see it just made it a little bit um, more space in between each of the letters here. So I'll say OK. The next thing it wants us to do is delete the page break and the extra paragraph mark at the bottom of page one so that the online blanking heading appears directly after the picture. The easiest way to see if you have a page break added to your document is to turn on your show hide marks. So up here in the paragraph section on my ribbon, I'm going to click on the show hide. And so I can see here where it's page break and then here is my paragraph marking. So I'm just going to highlight that and then hit my delete key. Now my online banking is going to move underneath my picture. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to turn off my show hide because I don't want to see those as I'm working. Number three, format the text all day access in small caps to match the formatting of the other list items on the page. It's real important, important when you're working with documents that you keep them um, all formatted the same, have some continuity to your document. So we want this all day access to be in small caps. And I'm not talking about just retyping this in capital letters. It wants it to be small caps. So I'm going to highlight the all day access. Up here in the font grouping, I'm going to click on the little dialog box launcher here. Under the font tab, under my effects right down here, one of my options is small caps. So I'm going to click small caps and say OK. Now it matches. Another way you could have done that is to highlight the account alert since that's the way we wanted it to look and then come up here and use the format painter and then highlight the all day access and that way it would have been formatted the same. So that's one of the key things with Microsoft programs. There is usually more than one way to do everything and it's just finding the way that works the best for you. We are now ready for number four. We want to change the bullet character in the list on page one to a picture using the file um, that we downloaded, the support file, to coordinate with the other lists in the document. So here on page one, I'm going to scroll down here. We've got our bulleted list here and we want these instead of the bullets we want them to be this little check mark. And this is the file that we downloaded from Cengage. So I'm just going to highlight my bulleted list here. 
up here in my paragraph grouping, I've got my bulleted list. I'm going to click on that little arrow. I'm going to come down here to define new bullet. And up here, I've got different options I can choose from. I'm going to choose picture. And I am going to go from a file because I downloaded this from uh, Cengage. I'm going to come up here to my downloads. And here it is. This is my support check mark. I'm going to say insert. This is what it's going to look like. And I'm going to say OK. And so now instead of little bullets, I have that check mark on my bulleted list. Ready for number five? On page two, increase the indent of the four list items beginning touch ID and ending device registration by one level. It's the first part of step five. So over here on page two, we've got this touch ID right here. And we're going to come down here to device registration. And we want to increase this by one level. So up here in our paragraph grouping, we've got our increase and decrease level. So I'm just going to click it once to increase my list level. Now it wants us to decrease the indent of the text banking. So down here, this text banking, instead of being a second level bullet, it should be a first level bullet. So I'm just going to come back up here to the paragraph and I'm going to click the decrease indent to take it back to one. And that's all I need to do on step five. Step six, apply the color ice blue accent one darker 50% to the bullets for the second level list items in the mobile banking section to add visual appeal to the list. So I want these second level bullets to be blue. So I'm just going to highlight all of them right here. Come up here to the bulleted list. I'm going to define new bullet. And come over here to font. And I'm going to change this font to ice blue. And you can see it changed color. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. Define new bullet, font, I want the ice blue, darker 50%. There we go. Number seven, apply a right indent of 0.5 to the list in the mobile banking section to use the same formatting as the list on page one. So here I've got my mobile banking list and I want to uh, make it right indent at 0.5. So I'm just going to highlight my list. Up here in my paragraph section, I'm going to click on this dialog box launcher. I'm going to go to the indents and spacing tab. And right here, I want to indent right indent of 0.5. Number eight. Format the list in the sign up section, beginning with online banking and ending with the follow prompts to start banking. So all of this right here. Um, as a multi-level list using the 1AI numbering format. So up here, I've got my numbers. Click on here. And I want it to be the 1. So my first levels have numbers and my second levels have letters. The next time you want to use um, cadet this paragraph right here, this last paragraph, we want to change it to where it has a left indent of 0.5 to this paragraph. So up here under the paragraph grouping, I'm going to click on this dialog box launcher again. And on the left, I'm going to say this to 0.5 and say OK. And it's going to move it over. So it is now lined up with my numbered list text. On page 3, 
I've got this uh, bulleted list and it wants us to sort them in ascending order to make it easier for readers to find the information. So I'm going to highlight all of that bulleted list. And up here in my paragraph grouping, I've got this A to Z. This is my sort. I'm going to select that and I want to sort it by paragraphs and say OK. And now they are in alphabetical order. Makes it a little bit easier for our readers to find their information. Number 11, change the color of the page numbers to ice blue accent one doctor 50% to match the colors of the other elements. So I'm just going to come up here in my header, double click to select it, highlight the letter, or the number, sorry, and over here in my colors, um, you can see it's actually black text one. We want to come over here to the ice blue accent one, and down here to darker, darker 50%. Select that, and then close our header and footer. So now it's a dark blue instead of a black. Number 12, add the draft one text watermark to the document to clarify you are creating a draft for review. This is very handy in office situations when you want your boss to know, hey, I am still working on this. This is just a draft. And so they can see it right away. So to do that, we're going to come up here to our um, design tab. And over here, clear at the right is our watermark option. And this just adds like a ghost text to our document. We want this draft one style. So I'm just going to select that. And it's going to put draft in light gray colors on all of our pages so that when our boss or whoever is reading it, they can see right away that this is a draft. We want to insert a cover page to our document now. Uh, we want to insert the sliced dark co cover page so it makes it look a little more professional. And if your boss doesn't understand how easy it is to do this, don't tell them. So we're going to come up here to the Insert tab, and we've got our cover pages. And there are a lot of cover pages that are built in to make it look a lot more professional. We are going to scroll down to the slice dark option and it's going to automatically add this color page, cover page, sorry. And for our document title, we're just going to split, click down here where it says document title and we're going to put in digital banking services for our title. And then our document subtitle is Cadet Bank. Now make sure you spell this correctly. If you don't spell it correctly, you're not going to be counted in the grading as even entering in this cover page. Okay, so now we are ready to save our document. And um, there is a picture in your instructions. You can compare your document to the final figure in your instructions. Once you feel that you have done everything correctly, um, save it, close Word, close your document, go back to your assignment. Let me find it here. Um, I'm going to open it up. I've already, and I'm ready now to upload. I'm going to find my document that I've named, upload it. I should get a green check mark. If you don't get that green check mark, um, then just need to make sure that you've named your file correctly. You might need to highlight all of this and then just open up your document and do it. Highlight this, copy it, open your document, and do uh, save as and then rename it with this, just do a paste. This is the document that it's looking for. Once you have this green check mark, hit Submit. This next step is very important. You want to view your report so you can see how it's graded you. So it's going to come up here in the lower left-hand corner. 
and we're going to open it up and it says I've got a 93 out of 100 so um, digital banking um, should be formatted using the expanded character spacing by one point for some reason that didn't take so what I can do is I can open up that document if I want those seven points I can open up that document again and I can go in I can highlight this again. I don't think it looked like it took, but let's see. I'm going to go to Font, Advanced, uh, Spacing, I want to expand. That's what I did. I need to put Spacing Expanded by one point. See how it spread it out. I'm going to cancel because I left the G off and I need to make sure I have that G selected too. I'm going to highlight that, come up to the font, make sure the spacing is expanded by one point, and OK. There we go. Now I can save it again, close it. Why it's not closing. Save. Hmm. Close. Go a second. Close this one. Go back to my <coughs> Cengage. <clears throat> I'm going to close this, go back into my assignment, and you'll be able to go back in Blackboard. I'm just working right out of Cengage today. Um, click here. I'm going to find that document again. Open it. Get my green check mark. Submit. View my report. It's always important to view your report. didn't it like it? Okay. Focus. Got a lot of different Word documents open. I'm going to close all of my Word documents that I have open, except for that one. Come back to my desktop, find my assignment. Yeah, I didn't take it. So I'm going to highlight this, go to font, spacing expanded by one point. OK. I'm going to save, close it. There we go. I think it'll take took it this time. Go back to Cengage. Uh, hit start for my assignment. Now I'm going to upload it again. Open. Submit. Let's see if it took it this time. View my report. And I received 100 out of 100. So just be diligent and keep submitting it. Keep looking at that grade report, finding out what it is you're doing wrong. If you find that you're getting really frustrated and you're like, I'm sure I'm doing this, uh, reach out to your instructor and let them know. And they can go in and they can check and they can actually go into Cengage and they can look and see what you've submitted and what you've done wrong and help you out that way. But always try to take care of it yourself first before you involve your instructor. Um, try to be a little proactive.
Have a great rest of your day.